If you need to find the greatest common factor for 6 and 10, here's how you do it. So the greatest common factor, sometimes you'll see that called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. They're the same thing. So to do this, we need to find a factor that goes into 6 and 10. And we're looking for the greatest factor, the greatest common factor. So 6, we could say 1 times 6, that's 6. 2 times 3 is 6, but that's it. 10, 1 times 10 would give us 10, 2 times 5, but that's all. So these are the factors for 6 and for 10, and we're going to find the greatest common factor between 6 and 10. So 1, that's a common factor, and then 2, that's also a common factor, and that's it. So 2, that's the greatest factor that these two numbers have in common. That makes the GCF for 6 and 10, 2. You could also do this with prime factorization, but these numbers are pretty small, so this is probably quicker and easier. This is Dr. B, finding the greatest common factor for 6 and 10. The answer is 2. Thanks for watching.